Hi and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to select non-adjacent worksheets within a Microsoft Excel workbook. So with that, we're going to use the control key and the left click. And with no further ado, let's jump right into this lesson. In order to do this, I'm going to open up Excel. In this example, we have an Excel workbook and we have five individual sheets. In our last video, we looked at how to use the shift key in our mouse. And by pressing the shift key and left clicking, we could select all of the individual sheets between our current cell, our current sheet here in sheet one, and that sheet that we click on. So if we wanna select, we wanna select sheets one through four, we would press the shift key and then click on sheet four, and thus sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, and sheet four would all be selected. If, however, we wanted to select sheet one, sheet two, sheet four, and sheet five, but not select sheet three, it would be difficult to do this with using just the shift click combination, because you see that shift or sheet three is now selected. What you can do is press and hold the control key. So press and hold the control key and then click on each individual sheet that you want. So I'm gonna start on sheet one, I'm gonna hold the control key and click on sheet two. While still holding the control key, I'm going to click on sheet four and sheet five. Thus, this sheet one, two, four, and five are selected. And if we wanted to make a global change, such as apply <laughs> black, let's apply green formatting to all these, all these sheets, in order to accept that change, we would click on a sheet that we haven't made the change to. So you notice sheet four, sheet five, sheet two, and sheet one all have a green highlight, where sheet three does not. Now a faster way to make this change, if there are many, many sheets that you want to select, is to select all of the sheets that you want, including the ones that you don't want. So here I'm gonna select sheet five through sheet one. And then, again, using the control key, you press the control key, and click on the sheets or sheets that we want to not include. In this case, it would be sheet three. So we now can see that sheet one, sheet two, sheet four, and sheet five are kind of this bolder text, meaning that they're currently selected. So if we were to say add, let's say all borders, you would notice that when we click on sheet one, sheet two, sheet four, and sheet five, those have borders in green, but this still doesn't. So again, let's make a change to sheet four, sheet two, and sheet one. We're going to make the change of selecting those by holding the control key and clicking. And we're gonna say, type here, try this. We're going to then select one of the sheets that is currently not in our group. This would make the changes permanent and we would no longer have those three sheets selected. So then we look at try this, try this, oh, nope, try this. And because remember sheet five was not selected, it does not have the try this symbol. So again, in this video, we looked at using the control key in order to select multiple sheets that are not adjacent. We can either individually select sheets by pressing the control key and adding them to our selection. Let's just say that we want to select the text in these sheets and make it bold. Then when we select outside of one of these sheets, you'll notice that it's not made to all the sheets. Alternatively, we can select, let's just create a new document. So we can select all the sheets and then while pressing the control key, deselect the sheet that we don't want to use. So again, let's maybe make this first cell black. So we have sheet one selected and sheet three selected. So in sheet one, there's a black cell. There's no black highlighted cell there, but there is a black highlighted cell in this case. So this may not have been the best description. Of course, if you have questions, you can post them in our comment section. You can start a discussion on our discussion section. You can visit us at productivityme.co or send us an email. And as always, we'd be really excited to have your feedback and your input. 
If you have thoughts, suggestions, criticisms, we are always excited to hear from you. With that, in our next video, we're going to look at how to hide worksheets within a workbook. We'll do this by first looking at how to customize the quick access toolbar, and then we'll look at alternate methods in order to hide sheets in your workbook. So check that out in our next video. And as always, we're really glad that you decided to watch this video. So cheers.